Um, next up, we have Daniel Sunfeld from Universidad de Brasilia. Um, so you can try sharing your screen and I, yep. let me try right now. Oh. So, well, it's not showing the button for me to share my screen right here. It should it should look like a green arrow um, in the middle of the bar at the bottom. Yeah, let me try. Okay, sure. Can you see and hear me? Looks great. And I'll give you a one minute warning towards the end. Terrific. Right. Thank you. Uh, hi, my name is Daniel. Uh, I'm a professor at the University of Brasilia. Thanks for the opportunity to talk and uh, to talk about our project. Congratulations to all the Open Analytics team, our research team. Uh, we are talking about creating citation networks with Open Alex big data and cloud computing. Uh, this works develop uh, inside the IBICT. Uh, IBICT is the Brazilian Institute of Information in Science and Technology. You can see that we are celebrating the 70th birthday this year. And we want to promote uh, compete uh, resources development, information infrastructure in science and technology for the production of socialization and integration of society and technological uh, knowledge. Okay, uh, we have many projects inside IBICT. Uh, the main idea is uh, about our project is the Laguna project that we are working. Uh, we have this digital library of theses. Uh, we have Oasis, which is a portal for data and science with uh, open, open data and open access. Uh, the CRIS projects are famous abroad all the world. We have our version Brazil, the BR CRIS, also inside Laguna, also inside IBICT. And the Laguna project is the project that I work. It's, uh, we are creating a scientific data lake. We want to uh, use many repositories. Of course, we have many projects. We want to aggregate, aggregate the data from these projects. And we also want to use other fair resource sources as open outlets. And the data is processed in using many and different techniques. Inside the Laguna, we have the Laguna Cloud project that I'm on the head now. The Laguna Cloud is the cloud computer, uh, computing version of the Laguna project. Uh, we have uh, research funding from CNPQ, a Brazilian founder, to create the data lake infrastructure. We are trying to process the data inside uh, our servers, but now we have a grant that we can uh, use the Amazon Web Amazon Web Services as a cloud host. And the Open Alex is the main data source of Laguna and Laguna Cloud. Okay, we have some inspiration here on the Open Alex technical documentation. We can, if you go there, you can see that you, we have these. Uh, instructions on how to load uh, data by house structure. We can also load the Open Alex to a relational database. And uh, even the documentation says right here in the bottom, it can say that if you use the entire data structure in a relation, uh, entire Open Alex in a relational database, you can see that some carries will be fast and others will be painfully slow. And we want to use computer clusters and uh, other fast computing techniques to accelerate that. Um, on the data engineering, uh, we know these uh, tools that we have available. Usually, if you are on a relation database, you will likely use SQL. Uh, it's a domain-specific language for managing and querying these databases. But we have also alternatives to query, like uh, Pandas, which is a popular Python library for data ma manipulation and analysis. And the PySpark is really similar to Pandas, but is an API to Apache Spark to distribute processing framework. The Spark is an engine for executing data engineering, data science, and machine learning 
on single node machines or clusters. Since we are working with the huge data, we want to create a cluster to process that. So on Laguna Cloud, we decided to process the OpenLX data using the Apache Spark. And uh, we want to use a PySpark notebook to analyze this data. So to host this cluster, which can demand a huge amount of process and data storage, we will use the AWS as the cloud host. So uh, if you ever downloaded the OpenAlex, it's hosted in a service which is called the Amazon SIPO Storage Service, S3. On, on the cloud, we have many and many services. I, mean, we, I show you four of services that we are actually using in the AWS for the Laguna Cloud project. The S3 is used to store and retrieve uh, any amount of data at any time. So uh, when we are using terabytes of data, we are worried about data space and backup. Uh, if you store that on S3, the cloud uh, host will do that for you, which will make our life much, much more easy. Uh, if we want to use an Apache Spark, we also have a services for that, which is Amazon EMR. Uh, inside the EMR, we can create an EMR, EMR studio to use an idea to run PySpark applications. Uh, inside the EMR, you can actually create the machines and a cluster for you, uh, but you can also use serverless service. Uh, serverless is a, a concept inside cloud computing, which is getting famous. Uh, it doesn't mean that you don't have a server. You always will run on a server. But it means that you don't know which server you're using and you don't have to manage this server. So I'm actually running on 50 CPUs. We have, uh, with S3, we have unlimited amount of data that we can process and I don't need to update operating systems uh, or worry about how many machines, if my machines are online and working. Uh, with M M EMR serverless, the, uh, they will create and destroy the machines, virtual machines for me automatically and I don't even have to worry about that. But we also need some other services from the cloud. The Amazon Batch is used to run few tasks on the cloud. We also have a serverless version, which are, we are using, to, so we don't have to create machines to run these uh, tasks. Uh, we store these tasks inside containers, which uh, grant us the, uh, we can control the, the environments that we, our scripts are running. And we store these uh, containers inside the Elastic Container Registry, which is at the other, the last cloud service that we are using. Uh, we have two uh, main tasks on the batch. First, we want to copy uh, the OpenLX data uh, snapshot for us. When we want to store that inside uh, Amazon S3, that we can actually write on that. And we also need to remove a few uh, fields like uh, abstract inverted index, which is huge and can uh, make our process much, much slower. So with these tasks, we can run a Python script inside all works in, in OpenAlex, and then we can load that in the cluster and make many, many things that we want. I'm going to show you two cases. We have more than that, OK? Uh, this is the notebook. This is the MR Studio that we I talked about earlier. And with this, I extracted inside all works, I extracted how many uh, citations we have among journals. Uh, here we have two uh, source ID, display name, and who he's citing, and how many times one journal citing other journal, OK? Uh, we also made uh, an, an analysis to see how many times a journal cites itself. So we are using the OpenLX data to see how many times uh, which journals uh, can have an abuse of self-citations. 
Uh, here you, we can see just a rank, okay, from how many times uh, a journal, how many citations a journal has and how many times it sees itself, okay? Uh, we With this data that we are creating on Laguna, we can actually download these results and use GIFI to design networks. Here we have uh, some citations network that we developed. Uh, the one in the top, the blue ones show a uh, closed access journal in blue, and we have open access journals in red. Um, and below we have the Brazilian journals. Since we are funded mostly by Brazilian agencies, we have always some few analysis for Brazilian science. And on the right, we can see a smaller network on fields of medicine and health science. Okay. We also made an analysis to see uh, the uh, how uh, how close uh, two journals are uh, among using the citations count, and we have uh, uh, here is plotted uh, among areas. In the blue one, we can see the health sciences, also the exact and earth sciences. We can see that the engineering is close to exact and earth and science. We can see that biology is close to health sciences and also agriculture. And uh, this is uh, how uh, close two journals are. Uh, we also have a notebook to identify using that data from self citation. We can see this uh, create these plots of journal self citation rates. That's not a problem when a journal cites itself, but we can definitely see that we can have few abuse and some points out of the curve that might be analysis later, okay? So all this data was gathered directly from works from Open, open Alex. And we have a cluster, uh, our EMR cluster needs to, to do that. We spend uh, about one hour to execute all these uh, queries. We have, our notebook has 200 lines of source code. Okay. One minute left. Oh, that's it. Right. <laughs> we just finished. Thank you very much. And uh, we are open for uh, questions now and later.